Hey, what's up guys? Rudalinel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and we are still looking at the end curses module. Now, in the last video, we were taking a look at Windows, and sort of creating like a subset of our screen. It, it, it makes a little box inside the box that we already have, which is kind of our, our terminal, our, our shell, the console. So, let's, uh, let's try and work with this a little more. There, there's more that we can do with the Windows. And uh, we were looking at the wgetch function rather than the getch function because that's going to allow us to see the window rather than only see the standard screen and uh, that sort of thing. There is, I think, a refresh function that allows you to um, actually add our window to the standard screen. And I I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start off the the, the tor tutorial. Sorry, with with that. I want to see if this will work. So let's create a new window. Our window can be. Um, Let's say two columns. Uh, well, yeah, there we have two lines to have access to. Twenty-five, blah blah blah, and I'll just start at three three. How about that? So we can add to our our window. Hey there. Now, if I get my uh, my shell up, we don't see anything because we're only looking at the standard screen. Now, if I add it to window, what are we going to be able to see? Okay, now we get to see what we wanted. Good, good, good. Can we refresh? And that's a function, remember. I'm, I'm telling you that it is now. And if I run this with standard screen, no, we don't get to see anything. Okay. So what can I do? Can I do window refresh? Is that a function? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, let's refresh that window, see what happens. Still nothing. All right. Can I refresh the standard screen specifically? Let's find out. No, still nothing. Okay, well, <laughs> that gives all the more reason for us to learn panels very, very soon, and we're going to get into that very soon, but I want to show you guys a little bit more of things that we can do with Windows before we jump into that whole uh, new idea. So, we've got our, our window, alright? Let's, let's go ahead and display it so we can see it. Let's say, get ch um, window, just go ahead and add that in, show it there. Okay, good, 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 good. Now... You noticed probably in the last video that we always have this W sort of prefix to any other function that we were using before, and that kind of allows us to work with the specific window that we've already created. Now, in the initial uh, library for Python that's actual just curses rather than unicurses, that's going to, the way that it would work in, in that library anyway, the window would be an object, and rather than doing like wadstr, or window add string, you would do window dot add string. It would be an object and you'd be able to actually use functions that are, are part of that. So that's kind of like the, the strange difference between the Python version of curses and like the C++ version of curses, because we'd have to set this up without objects and we'd have to use like window add string and, and other functions like we're doing right now in unicurses. So uh, there's just a little bit of side information for you, but let, let's keep an eye out for these W prefixes in any of the functions that we're going to be working with. Now, I want to introduce you guys something new. And what I'm going to show you is a function called box. And what it does is it will display a box around your window. It actually goes along the uh, uppermost edge, like right along the top, uh, the left side here, the bottom, and the very right side. So it's still inside the window. It's still going to be taking up one character. It's like almost you have an offset to your window all of a sudden. And um, but we kind of we can accommodate for it. So let's take a look at what it, what it actually happens here. If I box the window, it takes the window that actually that we're looking at as a as an argument. You can set up a vertical character that's going to be used for the vertical sides, and you can set up a horizontal character that's going to be set up for obviously the horizontal sides. But Ncurses by default has character set up. You can see that sort of like massive stuff right there. There's constants already set up for you. So let's let's just go ahead and run it. Let's see what happens. I get this ready, and boom, I have this thing. <laughs> so it, it's, our box is, our window anyway, is only two lines, like, tall. So we have this up here, and we have this down here. Now, depending on your terminal emulator, or how you're running this NCURSES program, you might have a different output. You might be looking at, like, um, plus signs for corners, or, like, um, on the vertical portions, and then the horizontal can be let's see, just uh, dashes, so it may be very different compared to what terminal emulator you're using, but you still get this effect, or the, the look of a box. Uh, so I'm going to make mine a little bit taller, at least, let's say 10, 
And now if I if I run this, it's a more defined box, right? So there it is. It, lo it looks good, right? It's it's cool. I mean, it's what we want. Now, you notice though that we added the string hey there to our window. But then we actually put the box all around it. So hey there is is not visible anymore. It's actually been taken up. It's been covered by these characters that were displayed by the box function. So, how can we fix that? Uh well, let's try and actually move the box right over here. Let's see. Will that do anything? Let's see. Run this. Hey there. And it's sort of like in the way of our box. What if we wanted it inside there? Is that an idea? <laughs> okay, let's let's think about this. We know we can move the cursor in our standard screen, right? We can sort of put text anywhere we want inside our terminal on the screen. Well, you can you can apply that to windows as well. You can actually move the cursor relative to a specific window. And you guys probably can figure out how we do this, right? It's just the move function with that W prefix. <laughs> Starting to see how this all works out? I'm going to move this down, actually, so it's not in the middle of our other characters and other functions. So, let's set up the box. We'll do the box first, and then we're going to move. Uh, screen ID can be window. New Y, new X. Okay, that's going to be 1 and 1, because we'll, we'll move after our 0 sort of offset that's been created by the box. And then we'll go ahead and add the string. Can we see what happens here? Hey there! And it's inside of our box. <laughs> nice! We still get to have that nice little outline that displays all around the window, and we get the text that we wanted. So we can do this just by using the move function that we know, but applying the functionality of the window there. And we still kind of have to use this wgetch function and not see everything around us. But we're going to get into panels next, and that's going to allow us to just practically see everything. It's, it's going to be cool. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for sticking with me for this tutorial. Uh, I know it's very simple, just looking at some new functions with Windows, and we're going to be jumping into more cool stuff very, very soon. Okay, <laughs> thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you in the next tutorial. Bye.